We are proud to recognize Black History Month as a platform of pride and recognition that's often bypassed in everyday stories. Yeah, today, our own Steve Pickett shares the story of a Dallas doctor now leading the charge in an institution that treated him differently the very day that he was born. 130 years of Dallas history, Parkland Health and Hospital System is the public health medical lifeline for hundreds of thousands of Dallas County residents paid with their tax dollars. Uh, I feel right at home. One of their own helps guide this medical center. My name's James Griffin. I am the current president of the medical staff. I'm also the chief of anesthesiology services. Dr. James Griffin leads Parkland's 3,300 strong infantry of doctors and advanced practice nurses as medical staff president. The 65-year-old was born in Parkland Hospital in the racially segregated maternity ward designated for black mothers only. Six decades later, his history making for Parkland speaks to a step away from the Parkland, the Dallas of old. Talk about black history. When did you realize you were creating black history? I think everybody creates their own history, but there is no success unless there is a successor. And so uh, I, should, I might be lucky enough to be the first, uh, but I certainly shouldn't be uh, the last. Dr. Griffin's family moved to this Oak Cliff neighborhood from South Dallas when he was just a little boy. He tells me his parents were not allowed to vote in this city until he was in the second grade. It would be more than 100 years of Parkland history before a black man, a man raised in this community, would be elected as Parkland's medical staff president. His 95-year-old mother still lives here. Her guidance helped pave this history-making path with the words Dr. Griffin often shares with his Parkland community. Character defines conduct regardless of circumstance. In Dallas, Steve Pickett, CBS News, Texas.